Welcome back to The Wargamer, my name is Pete and in this video I'm going to be showing you some techniques for quickly painting up large amounts of Skaven clan rats, which, if you're going for the whole Horde of Rats style army, will allow you to get your miniatures painted up in as little time as possible. Now before I go on, I just want to say a big thank you to Firestorm Games for providing me with the miniatures used in this tutorial. Be sure to check out the link below for discounts on Games Workshop products. So first, let's discuss some of the key points of speed painting. First of all, limit your colour palette. Reducing the number of paints that you apply to your miniatures will in turn reduce the number of steps required to complete that miniature. This will reduce the overall time spent painting each miniature and will vastly speed up the process. Paint in batches. Painting 10 or 20 miniatures at a time will allow you to get into a rhythm whilst painting them. Painting every mini in your batch before moving on to the next colour will allow you to develop your technique and hasten your painting. Don't sweat the small stuff. If you're going for a horde of miniatures, chances are those finely detailed highlights will get lost in amongst the rabble. Save your detailed painting to individual characters or centerpiece miniatures and just focus on getting the basic colours down on the rest of your army. So with the key points covered, let's apply them to some Skaven clan rats. Before we can start to paint, you will first need to prime your miniature so the later layers of paint adhere to the plastic better. This also gives the opportunity to start our painting too by opting for a black primer. A black starting colour will serve as what I call the shadow layer. This is a dark layer of paint that will only be visible in the recessed areas once we've painted over it and will create the effect of shadows. This not only improves realism but also helps those details to stand out. Skaven tend to have dark brown fur, wear dirty clothes and carry rusted equipment, so it makes perfect sense to start off with a brown paint. However, we want to preserve that shadow layer I mentioned, so the best way to do this is to apply it via dry brushing. Dry brushing involves loading up a fairly large brush with some paint and removing some of the excess onto a piece of tissue or paper, until you only have a small amount of paint remaining in the bristles. The paint I'll be using in this step is Dryad Bark. With your dry brush ready to go, drag it across the whole miniature. The paint will start to accumulate onto the raised areas, leaving only the black recesses visible. As you can see, this is a very quick and easy step to perform. Leaving the black areas visible in this way will also allow us to avoid having to use washes to bring out these shadows later on, which not only means we don't have to spend time applying the wash, but we can also avoid waiting for it to dry thoroughly before progressing. One thing I like to do while dry brushing is to keep my brush ever so slightly damp as it helps to avoid that dusty texture that can often form. Even though the technique is called dry brushing, having a small amount of moisture in your bristles will give you better results. Also, be sure to rinse out your brushes after painting four or five of your miniatures in your batch as this will help to prevent the accumulation of paint in your bristles and will keep your paintbrush workable for longer. Using some Gawthor Brown and the same dry brushing technique as before, pick out the fur and wood areas of the clan rat. To finish off the dry brushing, we want to add some silver edging to the metal areas using a dry brushing technique. I've opted to use Necron compound for this step, but if you don't have access to this paint, you could instead use some iron breaker. Focus on the edges of the metal parts to create a mixture of brown and silver, giving us an aged, rusty metal effect that is perfect for Skaven. After this step, be sure to thoroughly clean out your brushes and change your water to avoid cross-contamination of metal flakes to your other paints. Next, we can start to apply a little colour to our Skaven, but before we do, we first of all need to thin out our paint a little. Mix in water in small amounts until the consistency is similar to what you see here. Unlike my other videos, this time we need to thin the paint to make it easy to apply rather than just giving us a good smooth coverage. The colour choice will be based on your particular clan, but I personally will be going for a bright red that will stand out nicely against the dark colours on the rest of the miniature. To achieve this red colour, I've chosen to use Mephiston Red, but any vibrant base paint will work well for this step. Apply your thin paint over some of the cloth areas, but you don't need to paint the whole area, so make sure you leave the recesses dark. Keeping these areas as the base brown or black will simply help to add definition and bring out the details. Also, at this stage, don't worry too much about making little mistakes, especially in the harder to see areas such as on the chest. These mistakes won't be quite as visible in a fully completed unit, so don't stress too much if you do have little accidents. Using the same technique as with the application of Mephiston Red, pick out some of the areas of cloth wrapping using some Carrick Stone. You can also use this paint to tackle the teeth, claws and eyes of your Skaven as well, but remember to keep those darker recesses still visible. 
The final step is to pick out the more raised parts of the hands, ears and muzzle with a quick layer of Cadian Flesh Tone watered down as you did in the previous steps. This will help to bring out the skin colour in these areas. And here we have the completed unit of Skaven Clan Rats. I finished things off by creating a simple basing scheme using some textured paints before applying some dry brushing. All in all, this whole unit took me around two and a half hours to paint from primer, with an additional half an hour or so for applying the basing. Which means if you factor in the assembly time and also the priming, you can probably get a full unit of these completed in about half a day. If you enjoyed the speed painting style of video and would like to see me give the same treatment to other horde type armies, do let me know in the comments below and also give me some suggestions of what you would like to see me paint. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a big thank you to Firestone Games for providing the miniatures used in this tutorial. If you're looking for a discount Warhammer, you should check out their web store. Also, if you enjoy my channel, I've also produced a range of videos for the Firestone Games channel that you should check out as well. You can find a full list of all the paints that I've used in this tutorial in the description below, along with any other equipment that I've used to create this video. If you have any questions or would just like to chat with others who enjoy my channel, I've set up a Discord server which you can find a link to in the description below. So the only thing left to say is, thanks for watching and goodbye.